Aluminum parts for the slate I purchased from GLCCNC who are the sponsor of today's video. I've been ordering from them for years because they offer great prices and the quality is very good. To order go to glccnc.com and upload step files that you can find on GitHub for Modulate or export your own models from FreeCAD. You pick the material, I usually go with aluminum in default precision, which in my experience is very precise. No powder coating, economic build time. If you need a lot of threads, order them. For modulate, PDFs with thread drawings are provided on GitHub. The prices for the parts are very nice. Use the link in the description for an extra discount. When selecting the shipping method, check every carrier to see who offers the best price. For small packages, your packet is usually the best. This is our open source lathe controller. All the information needed to build one for your lathe on GitHub, link is in the description. 
It offers many different modes of operation. It can do automatic multipass turning, facing, it can make cones, also cut a thread, do parting operations. When you do threading, you can do conical threads and you can do multi stirred threads. It also can do ellipses and run G code. The G code can be generated using the tool that we provide on GitHub as well. It's called Lathe Code. You can take any STL file from your 3D editor and convert it to G-Code pretty easily. As you can see it has a web UI, connects to your Wi-Fi and you can manage this device from your computer if you want. So the concrete lathe project is done. I'm really happy with the result. In terms of vibrations and stability I think it's better than my cast iron lathe that I used to have before. If I would do it again I would of course vibrate the concrete better I would add two channels in the base that would allow us to post-tension the base with M12 threaded rods. Also add a plate here on the back so that we can have a stop for the tailstock and something to glue the chip guard to. I'm not super happy with the tailstock. As you saw when we were trying to broach the pulley, it does not hold super steady, though it does have some retention power. It also doesn't reach very far. And it's pretty thin over here, once you extend it. Perhaps we could also cast it from concrete. That would be real nice. In terms of cracking, I'm not worried about horizontal cracks appearing here, because these four threaded rods hold it very tight. But there is a small chance of a crack appearing here, even though in this area it's much thicker than here. To protect against this, I would glue a steel plate over here with epoxy, and that would prevent any serious issues from occurring, I think. You can find all the models and files for this project on GitHub, link in the description. For Nano ELS controller we also support regular PS2 keyboard if you don't like the touchscreen. Thanks for watching and see you next time.